All right. Happy weekend, folks. Bruce with Targeted Wealth Creation back at you. All right. This is the final Ulti YMAG YMAX uh, estimate. Just a little bit of tweaking. <coughs> Excuse me. So the, the tweaks, just again, in case somebody new tunes into this, I know you guys that have been watching it and want a final, you can fast forward. But for the people who kind of want to know how it happens, and then this is good for everybody. So what we're up against is you have Monday, all day Monday, and people will buy into the fund. And technically, those that buy into the fund on Monday can impact the payout because we, I have the payout results in knowing how many shares have been bought for YMAX and YMAG. This is what happened in June. So what will happen is, let me get over here with this one. So what will happen is these can be further reduced. Now, again, this is June's payment. I don't want to show you July. I want you to watch and listen, right? I'm going to get to July again with the updates. So $1.13 for Ulti. And these two are paid directly and proportionately to how many people buy into the fund because on July 5, there was a declaration with a payment on July 8th. So what do these funds own? Well, WiMAX owns all the single stock funds, 20-something. WiMAG, by definition, is the Magnificent Seven, so it owns seven of the single stock funds. So they already, we and they and everybody knows, if you do the calculations and I can show you uh, those, we know how much is be, to be paid, but we don't know how many shareholders are going to own YMAX and YMAG through the end of the 15th. Or I'm sorry, through, yeah, through the end of the 15th, because they're going to declare in the morning on the 16th prior to market open. So they will take into account how many shares there were on the 15th, and that's how much they'll pay. So the only guesstimate work left is that one day, but let's take, so this is the previous payment, so let's take YMAX, and let me show you my work. So we come in here with YMAX, and we have a situation where you have all of the funds, how many shares, and then we know, for instance, that Tesla was paid a dollar, right? Orc was paid $24.56, uh, and Viddy, all 24707. So you come over here and you say, well, that's 10% of the payout, right? So this is how many shares that they owned, or, or sorry, this is how many shares of in YMAG that they owned of NVIDIA. This is what they paid. Therefore, this is the amount. And what percentage of the fund did that collect? Look at Misty. <coughs> they owned. 434,000 representing 1039. So right there, you can see who the big payers, I mean, who the big collectors, look at this, 902, right? So for the first time, YBIT at $1.21 was included in now. And so you go through and they all roll up. So bottom line, there's $9,751,383. So as of July 3, we see what the total was. Look at this total. It just increase, it keeps increasing and increasing and increasing. So we're now at 14,225. So I was seeing that the last few days were averaging 210,000. Well, there's only one more day to go. But sometimes people wait till, and technically, I just, just I want to clarify this for you guys. So it does not affect the payout. But if you buy on the 16th, they announce early in the morning, you have all day. And some people with some brokers successfully buy it in the after hours on the 16th. And they also get the dividend, right? Because the X date, where for sure all trades on the 17th trade without the dividend. So that's when you see the value drop. 
And then, guys, we get paid on the 18th. Fabulous, right? When a weekend is involved is when, say this is a Thursday and this is a Friday, then we have to wait till Monday. So it's like four or five days on this one, early on the 16th on Tuesday, and then we get paid early on the 18th. So you need to buy by the 16th. What I try to predict is the count for the 15th because they do take that count into effect. And then once they say they're going to pay 65 cents or whatever the amount is, they're going to pay that no matter how many people pile into the fund on the 16th, right? They've already, it's the same thing with the regular single stocks, right? But in this case, there's been a run up to the amount of money. So let's go through that. Now, I just wanted to make sure you understood this so you didn't miss getting, get, buying it on the 15th or the 16th. A lot of people like to wait till they know what it is. And then there's those that say, hey, I'm going to buy on the 17th because it drops by that much. I can get it cheaper. There's all kinds of schools of thought there. So again, on WiMAX, so, um, you go through and you see this total so I jumped it up to 210 more on Monday, and I gave myself a little cushion, right, of 100,000, because what if 310,000 people pile in, right, and, and shares bought? So I'm saying 65 cents, 65.38 for my WiMAX. And before I had been saying 66. So I'm, now that I've added a few more days, I'm going to go with 65. So let's take a look at why mag, right? Sorry, if I said why mag before, it's easy to mix these up. That was for WiMAX. But again, I'm going to show you my just my chart for the payout. So don't worry. It's just when I do that up front, a lot of people don't even watch or, or learn this. And then they ask me questions. Well, why did it go down from your first estimate? Well, duh, did you watch the video, right? So this is the path for WiMAG. It has 4072000 And initially... It was going to be an 83 cent payout. Look at this. Look at the continual movement up in the, that. So I just tuned in and I see it's 5850 as of the close of business on the 12th, which represents a 70 cent payout. So I'm giving another 100,000 shares and calling it 68.4. And I may even have given myself a little cushion, but just let me show you the estimate. So that's what's happening. More people are buying into the fund. Sorry, the, sorry, on these, this was June, right? I'm dealing with July here. So ignore the June. And this is July. So we started at 78, right? I didn't track it for a few days. And then I did an estimate here. And then this is the latest, and it's going here, and I probably give myself a cushion, and I'll show you. Let me just finish with Ulti, and then I'll give you the final estimates. Okay, so just a couple of quick things. What is Ulti? What makes it unique? I always call it my wild stepchild because it doesn't use synthetics anymore. It only does true covered calls. You know how you guys, I have a bugaboo about calling a covered call strategy when you don't own any underlying a covered call. It's not a real covered call. These are real covered calls. Why? Because they actually buy the stock. What kind of stocks do they buy? Well, they buy high IV companies, typically over 80%. And then sometimes they pick the companies right near their earnings reporting, which adds more volatility. Okay, so let's just have a quick run through on those and then I'll get to my estimates. So what does ARM Holdings do? Well, anybody, maybe you don't understand this, but for a long time, we're now in this GPU world, right, with NVIDIA led, which is really like a graphics processing unit. Everything you visualize and gaming and lots of computational stuff 
that's done a certain way utilizes GPUs as opposed to CPUs. Well, there are many types of CPUs. The traditional processors in retail and home PCs and laptops and all that traditionally have been x86 and in that type. And when mobile phones came out, they were kind of ARM-based. It's a type of semiconductor which you turn into a processor. Apple, with their M1, went heavy down the ARM path, right? Otherwise, you're talking about certain companies that make more traditional CPUs. And so the ARM technology is progressing very nicely. It's less power, it's efficient. There's a lot of arguments really for both and for GPUs. And, and now with some of this neural processing, AMD has come out with NLP, neural processing, and they actually have an AI-oriented chip on their retail and all, also putting it in the data center. So that's kind of fascinating. Nothing stays the same, right? So you got a satellite company, you got a restaurant chain, you got crypto mining uh, with an ESG flare, Clean Spark. You got an auto finance company, lithium battery, healthcare, more uh, crypto mining, more crypto mining, micro strategy, right? A software company as well as the largest corporate treasury in BTC, Reddit. We think of it as a chat group, communication, IPO'd not too long ago, solar, server and components. This company is one of the largest providers of components to the big data center people as well as NVIDIA. Um, Tesla, right? We think of it as an auto company, robo-taxi, robots, neural uh, processing. I mean, you know, it, it, Elon Musk has a lot of pieces there. Uh, Zim, an Israeli shipping company. So you can see it's a varied group. And, and somewhere in here, oh yeah, you got Coinbase, right? We all know what that is. Uh, and we used to have micro yeah, yeah, micro strategy is still there. So we got Coney and micro strategy. They don't own any YPED. What's going on? Well, they got all the digital miners. All right, let's get to the prediction, folks. So based on them doing better and moving up in the last four or five days, you see it in the NAB price of Ulti. I've raised that. Um, so here are my predictions. This went from 103 to 108. My YMAG, okay, went down. I had a range as low as 66 to 81. It's now down at 67 cents, okay? And again, these are estimates more people can pile in to affect it. This one's truly a guesstimate, right? So I hope I'm close. I, I've been within two or three cents the last two times. But look, I, I'm not going to tell you I'm a guru. It, it just, I take a shot at it. And this one is, you know, I'm going with 65. This was my last one, right? This was a 66. So I'm going to make it 65, and, and I'm going to go with that. So this is the final one. You won't see any more. Jump in and buy these. You know, I love WiMAX. And I did some retirement videos around that. If you haven't seen that, look in my playlist, how to retire more safely on WiMAX. Okay, guys, that's what I got. 65 cents for WiMAX. And what is that? On the last price, close on the 12th, is 39%. A little lower than normal, right? You had a 73 last time. Here, I've got the same amount, and it's resulting in a 36% yield and at a dollar eight it's still close to 91 guys so you know they had been paying they paid a dollar six a dollar 41 a dollar 27 a dollar 13 so this is going to be a little further drop let's see okay that's what i got for you again this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor have a great rest of the weekend bye for now